Fernando Delgado is an Emmy award-winning audio consultant and owner of Stickman Sound in Las Vegas. He's an audio expert who truly loves what he does, and he recently developed a remote recording solution that allows people to stay home without sacrificing sound quality. He also happens to be a great human in general with some wonderful business advice. You can hear our full conversation on your favorite podcast platform. I don't want to be that old school audio guy that kind of has the mentality like this is mine, keep away, right? Because that definitely exists. And it's an old school kind of union mentality. The people that helped me helped me by sharing what they knew. And I also have found over the course of my career that you get better at what you do when you can explain it in a way that somebody that doesn't think like you understands. And, and so teaching has been a big part of who I am as a professional selfishly so that I can understand what I'm doing even better. There have been a lot of times in my career where really good opportunities came my way, but I knew somebody that I worked closely with either wanted that type of work or was just a better fit for that type of work. And so I'm very happy to hand that work over because at the end of the day, if our community looks better as a result of, of somebody coming into town, and, and doing a production, if I'm not the best person, then I shouldn't be the person doing it, especially if my neighbor is the best fit. So I, I'm with you. I don't consider my peers to be competition. I just consider them to be my peers. I actually wish that I had achieved this state of mind years ago, because I think I would have found happiness, like real happiness, a lot sooner in my adult life as well. When I was in my 20s, it was all about feeding my family and, and building a reputation and, and hopefully a business. I've been building my reputation in my business for 20 years. When I was younger, I didn't really care too much about the content. Today, my kids are older and I feel a personal sense of responsibility to work on stuff that makes me prideful so that A, I can invest myself into it a little bit more. And I also care about you know, when my son asked me what I did today, I, I don't want to be embarrassed. And I've done a lot of shows over the course of my career where I wouldn't answer my kids on what my day looked like. And today, thankfully, I'm able to keep myself busy without having to take some of those jobs that maybe I wouldn't be so proud of. If you're at the very beginning of your career, be frugal. The better you can be with your money, the more you can wait for those opportunities that you are really hoping for. When you're a business owner or a freelancer, I think that's one of the most important things to think of is having that buffer. And it buys you a lot more than people realize. You know, if you have money saved in the bank when an emergency pops up, it's not really that big of an emergency a lot of the times if you have the funds to just plop towards a solution. The problem with remote recording previously wasn't necessarily that you couldn't do it. It's that you needed to have an engineer in both places. So wherever the talent was, you had to have an engineer. And let's say you had a producer in a different location, unless that producer was also an engineer, you'd have to have an engineer there as well. This allows for the artist to not need an engineer. There's no technical know-how needed to get the system up and running. And because it runs on our private network, I have access to it as soon as the computer's powered. So I can do all of the recording. It feels like you're in, in the same building when you're actually in the middle of a session. So you're basically one step away from teleportation. Yes. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, we all, everybody, whether they believe it or not, we all work in a service business. We are all serving somebody. And I think in our line of work in particular, but I would imagine that this would be true in a lot of different industries as well. Our job is to serve the client and every client is going to need to be served a little bit differently. So it's imperative upon us of, of being professionals to say, okay, what is it that you need? Here's the skill sets that I have that can solve that problem or bring you whatever that uh, outcome or solution you're looking for. And that's how I approach every job. I think that's also why I'm so versatile. If you're a business owner, you need to be money smart. You don't need a fancy car. You just need a car that's going to get you from point A to point B. I'm cash only. I don't borrow money for anything. I cut up my credit cards years ago. I haven't had credit cards or credit in years. People say you can't travel. I say that's BS. I've traveled the world uh, without it. My life is a lot easier since I became money smart. 